to the Dolomites everyone. We are here, we've driven our van from Switzerland into Italy and we've parked up at this amazing spot where we spent the last couple of nights. The sun is out for the first time and the sky is clear, the views are amazing. By the end of the week we will be in Croatia as that is our deadline for the Schengen visa. So we want to make the most of Italy as much as we can whilst we're still here. So I'm excited to show you around and document van life in Italy. We've made it to the top of Paso Gao. There's a viewpoint just behind us and we're going to go up there now and check it out. Hopefully it's the right one. You like get overwhelmed with how many like, formations are around you, you can't take it all in. Like there's just a 360 view like the whole way around and like every single way you look like there's something cool to look at now i have to find some other cool roads to drive on arrived in a ski resort village called Cortina. It was on the way on the way through to where we're going to park up tonight. I never expected to have this many shops like this where there's just obviously so much money about like shops that we obviously can't afford to <laughs> go in. There might be a British Heart Foundation we can shop at or something. <laughs> we can have a look through the window. It's a lot of window shopping but um, all Italian shops and some of the cafes closed between like half 12 and half 3 or 12 till 3 so at the moment it's pretty dead. Marv has been on the hunt for cocoa powder for like a week so let's see if we have any luck in here. Any luck? I just want a hot chocolate. <laughs> so instead we're leaving with biscuits. This is one of the quieter campsites we've stayed at before. We're here pretty early but it is starting to get darker quicker and we have got a hike planned for tomorrow morning which they say is better to do in the morning rather than in the afternoon or else I think we would have done it today. So we're just going to spend the rest of the evening chilling out and it's nice we're the only ones here. Since there's no one here and it's, it's not too cold I've decided it's about time I need a shower so I'm just going to brave it. <laughs> okay, maybe it'll just have to be my hair. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. Damn it! I want my table. Do -do -do -do. Don't use too much water. No. Much better. I feel clean. Cold but clean. We've had some crazy sunsets while we've been in the Dolomites and just behind us now we're getting another one. Like over the top of the cliff there's just one massive bright burst of light. It just looks incredible. Good morning everyone. I just woke up. I went to bed with my hair wet, hence, hence the craziness. But I've just come, I've just come out this morning. May or may not be going for a morning wee outside. 
but uh, it's amazing because we're it's only about quarter past seven and because obviously it's getting into winter the sunrises are later and it's like I've got up at the perfect time the sun is just hitting all the all the cliffs and the mountains around us it just looks it looks incredible chilly but still amazing such a clear day too I think we're gonna have I'm gonna have a good one. I'm excited. Oh, rusty. Tell us what we're doing this morning. We are hiking to Lake Sorapis. Yeah. It's about four hours long, 11 ish kilometres, and like 700 metres of elevation gain, so not too crazy, but should be good fun. Bright and early, 9am. Let's go. Did you hear that? What? What did you say? What did they say? And they were all looking at us. Did they? Yeah. I mean, how can you not? Oh, we're blowing again. I can't even speak. It's brutal. That climb was pretty brutal, but the view from where we've got up to is rather spectacular. Yeah, it's making up for it. Yeah, not you. What? <laughs> Go on. Well, it looks like we've made it to the refuge. Oh, there's a bar up here. Let's get on the upper roll. <laughs> we need to go back down there and follow the trail. Oh. Oh, there's an arrow here. Where? There. Yeah, but that could, that go. Oh, there's a step there, Marv. If you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's another trail. That trail goes uh, like way, way. Like if you want to end up in um, Venice, then go that way. <laughs> We've got a very good knack of not looking at signs. We? You. You. Yeah. Refuge. A lake. <laughs> at least this one was only 100 oh. metres out of the way. Could you imagine? If you don't know already, Mitch has um, a bad tendency of getting us lost. We've been lost in Portugal and a couple of other hikes we've gone a little bit wrong, but not as bad as that one. Well, it's more like a puddle than a lake but beautiful nonetheless. You get this like really cool view of the mountain inside of the lake while it on the water. It's pretty cool. It's really cool. And very quiet. Yeah, very quiet. Very much of stage fright right now. Yeah. There's people here. We're going to start heading back down because I can't really talk here because I'm getting nervous. We're making pace now. We're not stopping. We're on the way down. He's got his sunglasses on. He means business. We're determined to always make it down quicker than we made it up. That was a brisk walk back. Took us three hours and four. Sorry, this is <laughs> Three hours and 43 minutes in total, 12 kilometres of walking. Which is pretty good for us. But now we're hungry and we've still got a lot of inventory of baked beans from Switzerland. So we're going to try and make some sort of concoction of that. Oh! <sighs> The heavens have decided to open, so we're using that as our cue to put in some miles and head south to Udine, where we've got an exciting parcel waiting for us. So we're just going to drive there. 
whilst the rain's happening. Well, halfway, halfway. about a park up for the night. It's no fun walking around in the rain, so we may as well drive instead. Do you want to explain the situation on me? We've run out of gas. In both gas bottles. I need a plate. I need something to put over there. <laughs> so we've got, we just managed to boil some water when it ran out, which was for the pasta. What do you want? A small plate. So we're trying to make the most of what we can do with the hot water now. We've got couscous on the go. We already had chorizo chopped up. Yeah. And it's just turned into a bit of a... Like sweet corn's gone in there that's like... It's not, is it even warm? It's like lukewarm. We'd already opened the pesto. <laughs> we can't really... That was so ready and I'm like... I said to Mitch, I'm that hungry, let's, let's get going, let's eat. And... I mean it wasn't one of our best meals anyway, but... Now I've got couscous. So we're now we're putting the hot water into the thermos mug to try and save it for a cup of tea later. <laughs> Oh, there's still got coffee in it. <laughs> if the cheesy bean wraps weren't bad enough earlier on, then this is just taking the cake. We've learned our lesson today, folks. <laughs> What's even worse about the whole situation, I don't even know if I should say this, but I really needed to go toilet. <laughs> I really needed to go toilet. I was sat on the toilet here. The toilet water had splashed up me. So Martha was looking for baby wipes for me. The baby wipes had run out. And then we turn around because we hear the noise from the gas disappear. And I'm sat on the toilet and the gas just runs out. Meanwhile, <laughs> I'm just, like really hungry. But um, I'm just reminding Mitch of that time two days ago where he forgot about his cup of tea. And it went cold. And how much would do for that cup of tea to come back. I'll be the coffee in the morning, I'll be so upset. Yeah, it'll be a up and at them tomorrow morning then. Can you make ice coffee? Um, we haven't got ice. Can't we just like put some coffee in the free in the freezer? Is that how it works? I think it has to be boiled first. Surely not. I'd try my luck at just putting some, mixing some coffee up and putting it in the fridge. I'm mm. gonna try it. Okay. really exciting parcel that we've been waiting for so I'm excited to show you what that is when we get there Ordered our parcel to an Amazon locker, but it's on a toll road, <laughs> so we might have to do some dodgy walking to get over to it. How are we going to do this? We can see it over in the distance over there, but it's like wasteland between here and there. We're going to have to try walk over first. It says it's like just there. We'll see if we can get over. Okay. This is so dodgy. You know it's a pretty important parcel if we're traipsing through wasteland to try and get to it. This feels like we definitely should not be walking through it. I'm literally going to have to jump the fence. Oh my god. Because it's just there. Oh look, there's the Amazon locker. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> that was scratching my back. <laughs> Are you coming over? No, you go. Jump 
it! Jump it! <laughs> oh. Oh. That was fun! Yeah. Oh yeah, also there's another two parcels coming here oh. that are to do with this. So, we'll have that fun again in a couple of days. <laughs> Idiot. Time to open. Bad. Dun, 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 dun. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Made for vlogging. Is that what we do? I feel like we just record it. <laughs> I was like messing about. <laughs> Are we vloggers now? So basically, we've been pondering about getting a new camera for a while now because we're enjoying making these videos like so much. So we want to do this for as long as we can and the wind has been driving me insane when we've been editing yeah. and just like little bits with this camera that aren't perfect so yeah we decided to invest although it wasn't in the financial plans yeah. we want to be able to be making the best possible videos for you to mm. watch and for that if it means investing in a better camera yeah so we're proud of the videos like the wind for us was just it's insane insane isn't it? so if we're, it's annoying us so much it must be annoying you guys but i think it is a good time to say that we do have a patreon where money like this would go into supporting the videos um obviously at the moment this is this is all just funded by ourselves mainly just because we're perfectionists and we want the best videos yeah um but yeah we do have a patreon if you'd like to support us in any way we'd really appreciate it it all goes back into the videos now, the other two parcels that are coming are a new mic for this which i'm dead excited for yeah and then about some batteries as well yeah we so. couldn't put a mic on this one that was the reason why <laughs> oh my god success should we record on it now and change the camera, like the cameras over, so you Shall can we? see the difference? I hope, yeah. But I'll be sad if this. Imagine if there's no difference. Yeah, I know. Imagine if it's just crap. Right. Okay. See you on the new camera. Well, this is the new camera. Nothing set up right now on it. We've still got the charging cable in it because <laughs> it's dead. Welcome to the new camera, <laughs> folks. I hope you like it, because uh, that'll be a shame if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, imagine if it's crap. We just spent all that money. Oh well. But I think that's where we'll leave you for this video, as it's we're not going to be doing much else now, and we want to let this charge and be ready for the next video. And learn how to use it for the next one. Yeah, yeah. So, so stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Give us a like uh, if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you haven't already, because. We upload videos that should hopefully be getting better every single week. Goodbye. See you next time. <laughs>